think we can call this a a day of absurdity. Would would you call it that? Sure. I mean, there's just, just insane things happening, weird things <laughs> happening everywhere. Yeah. It's insane. Let's start with the first one. Mike Tyson is officially back. Now we talked about this before. He released some training videos over the last few months or whatever. He is uh, he's getting back in shape. He looks very frightening for a 54 year old man. I will say that. But he is coming out of retirement. He is fighting Roy Jones Jr. It is an exhibition match. But it will happen on pay-per-view and on Triller.com, or whatever the app is, on September the 12th. So it's, it's the second Saturday of college football. It's going to be in Carson, California at the Dignity Health Sports Park. That is where the Chargers have played for the last two seasons. Uh, it, it's a smaller place, but it is big enough, wide enough, that they are actually going to have fans in attendance, from what I understand. And, yeah, I mean, this is... It, it, by exhibition, it's only going to be eight rounds. They're not going to wear headgear. Uh, it, it's going to look like a legit match, but they are going to wear bigger gloves than usual. These are going to be 12-ounce gloves as opposed to uh, the typical eight, I believe. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. How, how do you feel about it? Uh, I mean, I'm interested. I don't know that I'm going to ever use the word excited, <laughs> uh, you know. It's I definitely understand. going to be what I would classify as an exhibition. It, it will be a spectacle. I think that's I think that's a good word for it. Just an absolute spectacle. Because we're all just curious to see what the hell they're going to end up doing. So on top of that, the undercard is supposed to be filled with, you know, guys that you've heard of but wouldn't necessarily say are boxers, right? So the undercard I know already includes Jake Paul and Nate Robinson, the former NBA point guard, that should be at least interesting. I mean, all of these fights that uh, that Jake Paul and these different YouTube streamers have done, regardless of whether they're in Cali or in Miami or whatever, all of them have sold out. All of them have done really good pay-per-views. Yep. People are still interested in watching people fight. Like, that's just what this is. So... Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to do good numbers. I think people are interested to see what Mike Tyson is going to look like coming back. However, like like we said, it is an exhibition. Damien jumps in on YouTube. He said, what's up? What is up, Damien? Again, anybody that wants to jump into the chat, go ahead. I see the numbers. I see quite a few people in on all the different platforms. Y'all want to jump into the conversation, go ahead and jump in. Uh, it, it's, it's absurd. Mike Tyson should have never come out of retirement. He should have continued with his his uh, hot box podcast or hot boxing podcast, whatever it's called. Um, that's that's what I think. But, I mean, if you can make a, a fortune on this Legends-only league that he's coming up with, you know, why not? He, if he, he's 54. He's not dead. So, you got a chance to come out and make some money. I know he went broke at one point. I, this seems he's like a good a idea. He's got a lot of weed money right now. Uh, yeah, no, he's definitely got that. He's definitely got that. He He ended up doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, so, I think I think he's doing pretty good in the weed business. After once he went broke, um you know, he he did that, he did the weed business stuff. He did um he did a stand-up tour which wasn't really a stand-up tour. He just came out and told stories. Yeah, from what I, I mean, it was just a one-man show kind of thing. Yeah, from what I understand it wasn't like comedy, it was just, you know, just discussions yeah. about what had happened to him in the past, which he actually did fairly well from what I understand. So, you know, I, I would like to see him do this as opposed to, you know, a one-man show type of thing. But, I mean, who knows? Like, he, he's not getting into a real competition. Roy Jones I'll judge Jr. it once I see it. Yeah. Roy Jones Jr. is 51 years old, and he got blasted the last few times he was in the ring. Um, You know, I mean, we'll see. Roy Jones Jr. last fought in 2018. Do you know that? No. I mean, I could have sworn it was way earlier than that. So Tyson was last in the ring in 2011. But uh or sorry, sorry, 2005. It was June 11, 2005. Uh Roy Jones, yeah, 2018. It was just a couple of years ago. So you know, I don't know what that means. Damien said uh battle it out into a heart attack. Yeah. I mean, that, you never know what's going to happen in these things. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's move on.